We have Anna Carroll. Um, Anna is a middle school graduate from Barber Middle School in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and uh, fun fact, uh, Anna and Thenzim were in the same class, correct? Yeah, okay. Um, so Anna, tell us a little bit about you. Tell us about your experiences interning at MadLearn. Uh, so hi, my name is Anna Carroll. And yeah, I was in the same class as Tanzim. Uh, I was introduced to MadLearn by my former computer science teacher, Sandra Watts. Uh, she had me in seventh grade, and I did my internship uh, going the summer going into eighth grade. Uh, I only stayed there for like two and a half months, I think, because eighth grade was going to be really stressful for me. Um, and I think it's just a really cool experience. Like other people before me said, it's really flexible, and you get to focus on what you're interested in. I personally uh, talked about being interested in my interview with Miss Doreen. And so the team gave me a music, like a song to work on. And I worked on that with Mr. Greg. We had a few meetings and uh, we used some AI to come up with stuff. And I used a programming app called Soundtrap to create the beat for the song. And even though it wasn't finished, I think we still made a lot of progression. And it was just really fun to do overall because it was something I was interested in. Um, honestly, I think that the hardest part of the internship was waking up in the morning. Because it was- It's like, hard for us too sometimes. So you're not alone. <laughs> I remember um, you would like, I, we had some people waking up at 5 a.m. to get to the meetings on time. I had to wake up at 8 a.m. But since people are in different time zones all over the world, you have people who would join at like 4 p.m. and later in the day. So it's uh, we had to accommodate for everyone. I also think communicating with everyone was pretty hard. I, I mean, I work really late in the night. So sometimes I'll be up until like 3 a.m. working on things that I probably shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing, but I ended up doing it. And so people would already be asleep or just waking up. So I didn't get a response until later in the day when I was asleep. So it'd be really hard to work around that, but we always found a way somehow. Um, I think that this internship really helped me get out of my shell. Cause I remember all throughout my life, I was a really, really shy person and during eighth grade, I made a lot of new friends and I learned how to communicate with people better throughout this whole internship. I became more of a leader in my classes and I learned how to do things for myself. Wow. Anna, thank you for sharing. And I feel like I've said this before because I have, but some of this I've heard before. So much of what you all are sharing today, I've never heard. Um, and I, I don't think Doreen has heard either. And so it's really so eye-opening for us even. And I know for everyone who's here in the audience and who will watch this uh, recording later. Um, so Anna, thank you. The fact that it, I mean, we heard about uh, skills and communication and, and you shared about kind of coming out of your shell, right? and being able to build that confidence of working with and talking with people who you'd never met in person. Um, and uh, and I will I will brag on these girls from Barber Middle School for a, for a hot second. Um, so their teacher, Miss Sandra Watts, is phenomenal and has been using MadLearn in her classroom for many years. That's why so many of her students have had the opportunity to intern with us. Um, one of Anna and Thenzim's um, uh, colleagues we're gonna call call your 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 students in your classroom colleagues um created something that um is a poster it's a poster that talks about our internship program um and we wanted for that to be something that we could share with teachers all over the country um her first version of the poster did not look like what it is today um she kept with it she kept with it kept iterating kept making it better final product we loved, we said, okay, if you get it to a place where we, we love it, we'll print it and we'll share it with everyone. Um, so we came to your school and we did a surprise unboxing event. Um, and I got to meet you, Anna, in person and you, Thunzim, in person, um, which is which is rare. I don't always get to do that, but I was so thrilled to come visit your school and meet you all in person. And um, and you guys got to, to see the posters live, touch them, feel them. And many of the people in this room have probably received those posters uh, from us at a conference or at an event already, because it is something that we now share 
all over the country. So real stuff that's happening. Your music, Anna, um, I know you and Greg worked on and that I think part of part of what you created is a part of some of the videos that are in our video gallery or being added to that as we speak. So um, again, real stuff that is exciting and your interest was music. And you would think, okay, this is an ed tech company. Um, why would a student interested in music intern at an ed tech company? And again, where there's a will, there's a way. There's so many ways to be creative um, and to use that, that interest, that excitement, that passion in whatever kind of industry um, that you might find yourself in. So great, Anna, thank you. Thank you so much.